Hey guys, I wanted to show you what the Verizon 1800X was doing for uh, Premiere Pro here. Um, here I was setting up a time lapse of a uh, 3D printer mishap where something came dislodged from the heating plate. Anyway, uh, I was converting, rendering, exporting all at once here. Around 2,000 pictures, give or take a little bit. High resolution, large file pictures. Normally, for this many pictures, on an FX 9370 overclocked, it would be about 45, 50 minutes worth of work. Because it's not just exporting, it's this is also uh, currently converting, you know, changing format, all that good stuff. As you can see here, it's using all 16 threads of the processor. This took about 20 minutes to do all these pictures. Like I said, I think it's around roughly 2,000 pictures, maybe 2,100, around that. But uh, here was the physics results on the 93.7. You can see here at the very top, it hit 91.75 of a physics score. What the Ryzen did was a little bit more impressive. Now see here, it says 82% better overall results, all that good stuff. Here's the 1800X. It more than doubled the physics score. And you can see there, I shot my uh, results up to 97 better than all results, all that good stuff. The only difference here, I mean, obviously the motherboard and the RAM's different as well, but the video cards, all that stuff, same operating system, it more than doubled my physics score. And here, you can see again, we got all 16 threads working hard. That's the nice thing about Adobe, they're pretty good at using all available cores, threads, all that good stuff. Now, obviously the RAM's also helping out because it's now uh, using DDR4. Now this is a course here running at 3000. But yeah, look at that. All of them working hard. And like I said, it cut it cut my uh, rendering time and converting time down to less than half of what it used to be. And that was an overclocked 937 Pro. It, it, sorry, an overclocked 9370 processor. I think it was like at 4.8, 4.9 gigahertz. So this isn't too shady. Now this one's also running that automatic overclock. It's hitting about, I think, 3.9 gigahertz on an 1800X Ryzen right now. So I'm pretty happy with it. Also, I wanted to apologize. My uh, YouTube channel has not been getting any updates lately. I uh, had to build a temporary Ryzen system. Uh, temporary as in it's not the Crosshair 6 hero board that I want. It's currently an X370 Pro board. I mean, it's not a bad board, but it's, it, you know, it's no Republic of Gamers board. So I built this so I could get back to editing. I had a pretty bad power situation before where the power was interrupted and I didn't have a backup currently and it screwed my raids all up. I couldn't do any real work because even if the computer would uh, work, it was a good chance that I could lose everything. So I'm running this temporary now. Um, got a 3D printer. I'm doing a bunch of computer work. Uh, there will be, I will say about every two to three days, maybe every day, depending on what the video is, of updates coming out. So I just wanted to say sorry that the channel hasn't been getting anything recently. Nothing wor really worthwhile, just because I couldn't do any work that I could trust on this thing. So now that I have a reliable computer again, good hard drives, good motherboard, good processor, I uh, will be updating her up again here quite uh, frequently, and it's gonna be a lot of technical stuff. Computer, a, cool, a bunch of really cool 3D printer upgrades you guys should check out. So, I'm back. Yay. <laughs> anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video. See you around.